Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kyojo here, and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different for my Tactical Tuesday episode. In the background, as you can see, I'm actually going to have clips from my Bourgeoisie montage. That's like, that's like six months old now, actually. I'm also leave a link in the description if you want to actually see the edit of it, which I did myself. I know, see if you guys are interested in that. But today I'm actually going to be talking about, as you can see by the title, um, how to do better in RCs, and basically just how to hit more clips in general. And sort of, you know, with RCs, how to stand out, how to be more likely to win them. I've never gone, well, I've gone for two RCs. One was an Obey editing one, the other was an Iron editing one. I didn't win either of them. But this is supposed, this is about, you know, clips, sniping, um, trick shotting they could also kind of apply. So, if you, you know, either one, make sure you stick around and watch this video because, you know, I'll just give you guys a lot of help for that. So. The first thing you really want to know is the spawns. This is the most important thing on this list. And really, if you don't know what the spawns are, or like how the map flows really, then you're going to have a hard time actually hitting any sniper clips. So, you may be playing, say for example, Domination, and you have to know on each map the different spawns the opponents are going to have based on where your team is, and based on what objectives you have. Now, a lot of the time, personally, I play TDM, and the spawns are either one side of the map or the other. Um, however, there are some times where, you know, it could either be in, say, a corner to the left of you, could be straight ahead, could be to the right, and you have to know which ones it could be at, and where it could be at, and which ones it should be based on where everyone is, and and all that thing, all that stuff. So, really knowing the spawns, and how the map's going to flow, where the enemies are going to go, where they're, lo where they're likely to come, if you can maybe flank them and get a couple of kills that way, then, you know, just knowing the map, Oh, going on to my second point, actually. Knowing the map and the sight lines is really helpful. Now, I actually said, oh, I was going to talk about more, like, um, first bloods, and a really great example for this is actually on Raid, as you guys know. There is, you know, everyone just runs straight to the middle, line up. You could even get, like, a triple or a quad maybe through the wall if you're on the one spawn. You know, the other side, you could even hit, like, you know, five on, six on, whatever. You can hit anything there, really, as long as people actually go there. So, really knowing how to get, you know, from one place of the map to the other, say if the enemies are by there, as fast as possible, knowing the sight lines. So, you know, hard scoping isn't too bad a thing, say, if you're lining up to hit a quad. <laughs> I mean, you may know a spot where you can, like, look through a little gap, you can see, you know, there's quite a few people, wait a little bit, bang, you hit a quad. You know, just knowing the map, knowing the sight lines, that's really perfect. So, next point is going to be guns. <laughs> now, you c there's... Some people use guns, say as, you know, snipers or assault rifles and SMGs, you know. There's a sort of divide there between snipers and the rest of them. And within that, again, there is weapon there are weapons which are easier to hit clips with, and weapons that are harder to hit clips with. A really good example of this is on MW2. The Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifle is probably one of the easiest weapons to hit clips with. It's just it's a semi-auto, um, magazine capacity is huge, high bullet damage, it's absolutely great. However, the Intervention, still very, very good sniper. It's not as easy to hit clips with because it's a bolt action. And this goes, I think, as well on um, MW3. The L11 is a bit harder to hit clips with than the Barrett. But this is all this will help in um, RCs. If you use weapons which are harder to get kills with, say maybe even a Dragonov, or say an MW3, or an MW2 using the WA2K, um, using stuff like that, will really make you stand out, and sure it may not be easy, but if you train yourself to learn to, you know, play better with them, those are pretty much headshot only weapons, so if you just learn how to, how to use them as opposed to just spraying someone down, you know, using the map, using the layout, using the spawns, knowing where the enemies are going to be, trying to flank them, and using guns which are, you know, harder to use, then that's really what you have to, you know, that will really help you stand out. You can use, like, you know, overused weapons, or what happens which are really easy to get kills with, like the Barrett. However, you won't stand out as much, you won't make as much of an impact on them, and you won't be as different from everyone else in the community. Um, and then my last point is actually going to be the perks slash attachments you use. And this is very similar to the guns. Some perks and attachments make it a lot easier for you to hit clips, where some of them make them so much more challenging and make it so much more unique. So, for example, a lot of the time on Black Ops 2, people used to use Ballistic CPU, which in the end didn't really do much. You could also have used Laser Sight if you think that helped you, and FMJ to get warbands. You know, that was a really simple class to hit clips with. 
um, and maybe extended mags or FM, no, extended mags or fast mags. However, people who use ACOG, ACOG is so much harder to use. As anyone who's ever tried it knows, I've used it, you know, a bit here and there. But it makes you stand out. You know, you use, oh yeah, from when I went to, did the phase 5, using the, you know, the ACOG, the thermal maybe, iron sight even. It's a lot harder, but it'll make you stand out so much more if you hit like an amazing, say like a 6 on, you know, with it. Or if you're trying to, I don't know. You certain attachments like that, or on, I know MW2 is pretty impressive, using, well, not using Sleight of Hand on your Sniper class. That was almost unheard of, because Sleight of Hand Pro, you also had um, Quick Zoom as well as Quick Reload, and to ha not have Sleight of Hand means you didn't have any of them, so a lot of people did Marathon instead, well, out of the people who did it, and it was a lot, a lot harder to hit clips. They kind of look better in a way, um, and doing stuff like that will make you stand out, doing stuff which people aren't really doing. And just trying to be unique with, you know, your guns, your perks, and your attachments. Even your grenade choice, maybe. If you're just trying to go for, like, Tomahawk only, that's pretty cool. Not, not as many people do that. Um, more people are so now, but, you know, just trying to be creative. Switching up your perks and your attachments. And also, changing up the maps you're using, your hitting clips on, and the certain spots. That can be really important. Shows you have a variety of skills, and you can adapt to different situations. And, yeah, using different guns so that you're not just, say... You know, or using the barrel in every clip, you know, maybe switch it up with a different different sight or a different sniper or a different, you know, different type of gun. But, you know, that's the end of the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, and maybe you like the clips in the background as well. Um, should have enough footage. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, comment down below as always, and subscribe for more daily content. I've been your boy Killjoy, and I'm out guys. Peace.